switch uh, controls. Nah, uh, no problems there. But anyhow, they're doing a Kelly Ditto for the game one. Very, very exciting. Um, opening up with neutral bees to zone each other out. And then, of course, Zelvio matching that kind of energy. Oh wow, and I didn't even know the neutral B just can't exist off like in the air like that. It's a completely grounded move. That's really, really fascinating. I'm sorry, this is just so bizarre to me. I've never seen anything quite like this. Um, wow, and that up B does so much damage. And he just lands right on the platform. That'd be very, very interesting to see later on. If on stages like PS2, you could up B and get the combo extension. Redline, of course, has the go active. I'm not sure about the official name for that, but... Um, right now he has the go active, meaning he could take out the stock super, super easily, super quickly with any of his, um, you know, big boy specials. Um, oh, wow. I really love the air dodge back onto a platform by Redline, a really great movement mix up. And Silvio almost getting the hitbox extension. Um, and now both of them have go active, so you're gonna see them place all these footsies around each other. And I love that coming from Silvio, but Silvio definitely not 100%. Wow, great parry from Redline. And that's a definitely something to look out for with um, uh, Terry is that you can really play out of shield against him for the most part, I think. Just because a lot of his things aren't safe on shield. Um, but he does have some block strings that follow up into shield breaks even. Uh, I saw some Twitter clips of that this morning. And again, it's on Twitter, so take it with a grain of salt. But um, it's definitely going to be like a mix-up between like one of those shield block strings. And, um, you know, like you're going to be playing out of shield against him. Oh my god, I just love the all the different places that he has for all of his different specials. <laughs> oh, and I thought for a second that he'd send him into tumble, but of course he can use up B out of either down B or side B. And something to note about Terry right now is that he has maybe some of the worst ledge snap. His up B doesn't snap, his side B as far as I know doesn't snap, and neither does his down B, which can be really unfortunate. A great... Um, string into down B coming from Silvio. I really, really love it. That's from flexing his knowledge of the character just a little bit. And wow, that has almost no landing lag and it has a really giant hitbox in front of it as he lands. So definitely have to look out for the defensive mix ups out of the down B. What was that animation? Oh my goodness. It just hints the whole entire stage. That's so cool. Oh, uh, Redline, was it ready for the back here, but decided to jump out last minute. Maybe not confident that it'll connect. And now Silvio's gonna be looking for the kill, going in with the up tilt, but Redline can spot dodge and living another day. And the up beat is more than enough to take the stock. Um, I don't know if both of them are gonna stick with Terry right now, or they're gonna be switching off to their respective mains. Either way, that was a very interesting set to watch um they're gonna be heading uh silvio getting the bands obviously he's banning ps2 and unova and we'll see you gut line now decide to go for kalos um interesting stage choice can't really speak on it right now i uh, don't have enough information on terry yet as a character and you see red line switching to roy definitely not wanting to perpetuate the terry ditto any longer um, this is something that Silvio definitely did when Hero dropped. He picked up Hero Frame 1 and then, like, just started to main him. So I'm really curious if the same case is going to be here with Terry. Um, Redline right now maybe has, like, a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. I think definitely doesn't want to lose to uh, Day 1 Terry. But definitely no shame in it either because Silvio is a fantastic player. Great fundamentals. And I love these callouts and the dashes with uh, Silvio. Ooh, and that... Oh, I think Redline actually saved him. Um, I don't think the uppy was enough, but that was definitely enough to take out the stock. Um, great parry from Redline, but wow, he got two consecutive parries. I love that, but he was not able to get the uh, punish in time because, you know, it is a projectile. And 
you know, he can act out of it at any given moment. Ooh. So I love what Sylvia was doing good. Now he's just playing super, super patiently and just like catching these jump ins with that. Oh, God, I forgot if that was like a side beat, the down beat. Great F smash, closing out the stock, and suddenly Silvio is bringing this back despite a really unfortunate early stock loss for his first one. Um, these uppies out of shields are so, so menacing, dealing so much damage, and. Ooh, I think if he downbeat, if he did a reverse downbeat back to stage, that would have been plenty to recover. But Silvio, of course, just doesn't have that complete comfort with the character quite yet. All is good, though. Um. I wonder what. I wonder what Terry's actually saying. And wow, all three of those stocks are very, very, very early losses. And you see, you know, Silvio like bopping his head a little bit. Maybe he's gonna be switching off to here. Or maybe he's gonna stick it out with Terry um, because those are really, really. Um, might, I want to say miss inputs um, uh, in game two here, but <laughs> um, you know we have Lou Jesus in the background. Just chilling um, <laughs> with his legs just completely out. I'm gonna see Silvio stick with Terry. Um, I love that confidence from him. Um, oh wow. Okay, anyhow, going to game three, final destination. Um, I think final destination is a fantastic stage for Terry. You can definitely just get like so many things in from that one raw down B, already able to take 21% for himself. Ooh, the up B out of shield was definitely trying to read something. Maybe a little bit more of a harsher commitment on the shield. Um, I, I see Silvio committing so much off stage. Like that, that could have been the stock had Redline uh, poked him out a little bit with an aerial or a tilt. Um, I'm curious if the neutral B can follow up into anything if he if he actually lands it. But Redline has been doing a fantastic job of avoiding them so far. Great side B to position himself a little bit closer. Silvio able to get back to the stage this time. Um, wow, I love the landing mix up with the roll, making sure that he won't get F smash. And that could have been the stock had Redline neutral get up just a second later. And that is almost completely safe on shield. Wow. Crazy that Redline wasn't able to punish that. Oh my god, that's going to take out the stock. Right now, Silvio has go active. And this is particularly menacing because, as far as I know, um, I do believe Terry is the heaviest heavyweight, almost in the class of the super heavies. Meaning, this character has a mechanic that makes him stronger at high percents when he's almost guaranteed to be living at high percents. And he really has rage as like a natural mechanic of uh, Super Smash Bros. So, I feel like right now this is very, very scary for Redline. He has to clutch out this stuff very, very quickly or else he might be losing it, this one. And that nail was not enough at 170%, but that up tilt, I believe, was not an up smash, was uh, enough to take out the stock. Right now, 61%. That line bringing it a lot closer with that F smash. Um, another great up B, wow. Um, Silvio maybe needs to work on the spacing of that S smash just a little bit more, maybe get a couple of pixels closer because he definitely had the lead, but that line was just out of range and able to F smash him. Um, I love that uh, neutral B, uh, I believe it was just a B reverse one, but he was able to just mix up his momentum so much, and Roy has no end log out of neutral B. Right now, Terry has go active, won't be too difficult for him to take out the stock right here. Love the Silvio, um, opted to just jump to the ledge. Another great parry, but I think an up B out of shield might have been a little bit more due. And he got the... Wow. To be able to get kill confirms out of jab like that is nuts. That was so, so good. Up B, not enough to take out the stock right now. 5% to 20%. Um, and I feel like saving your double jump with Terry is definitely the play here. Because if you're off stage without your double jump, you almost certainly will not be getting back on. Ooh, maybe we're trying to read a dash in with the power geyser and the upper enough to take out the stock. Right now, 39%, this isn't too hot, far uh, behind red line. 22%, it's side B, clutching it out. And just like that, red line brought it all the way back. 67%, 80%, Terry offstage, not, definitely not where he wants to be. Silvio's in the ledge trap scenario. 
and he's like so good at just like applying corner pressure. Uh, very, very appropriate considering the the character that you know uh, is, is is from King of Fighters and everything in Fatal Fury. I haven't seen Silvio get much mileage out of that at all. I'm surprised Silvio didn't actually go in for like a dash grab. Maybe not confident enough that Terry had the run speed to get it. <gasps> and that, ooh, I'm totally surprised that you know, Roy was able to make that back. Roy has some kind of magnet hands. Anyhow, really, really good for Redline for just, you know, still going through with it. And that was enough to take it. Redline smiling, both of them had a fantastic set. Um, and Silvio is already showing off so, so early. A lot of what Terry can and can't do um, definitely up there right now is those jab confirms are menacing. So, so crazy. And just like that, it's such a big call out. It's like, it's so fast and it like sweeps across this entire range um, and just basically you explode.